uh, and I want to look at cross-platform native plugins ultra pack. Now the cross-platform native uh, plugins ultra pack is a unique and unified way to access native functionality on mobile. It supports iOS and Android. Um, it's unified uh, setup in Unity, which allows us to gain access to OS functionality on mobile. So uh, both for both of those operating systems, the iOS and Android. And we can simulate those features in the Unity editor. Uh, we can access features like the address book or billing or cloud services, game services, uh, the media library, network connectivity, and much, much more. And the main thing it allows us to do is program once, which is that sort of program once and deploy anywhere. That program program once in our project and then deploy to iOS and Android and we don't have to worry about learning the very specific uh, OS um, quirks that's done for us by Voxel Busters. Uh, yes, this project, this, uh, this product is done by Voxel Buster Interactive. And so uh, they've sorted out the quirks for us and we just need to address their, their ultra pack and uh, it just works. So uh, today we're going to go and we're going to look at accessing a system dialogue window. Um, we want to uh, hook this up um, kind of directly. We're not going to hook this into any gameplay today, um, but I just want to show you an example of a simple implementation. And then I'm sure you can think of more complicated ways of doing this in your own game. So let's come back to uh, Unity and then I'm going to create a new C Sharp script. Let's just go ahead and put that up here. A new C Sharp script. Hmm. She sells seashells on the seashore. C sharp script. Um, and I'm going to call this dialogue shower. Um, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and open dialogue shower in mono develop. Yes, there you are. So I'm going to clear away the boilerplate script in the middle, and then we're going to create a new namespace. So that's going to be using, or we're going to use a new namespace. And that's going to be voxel, uh, voxel busters. Uh, again, they have uh, very carefully organized their code. So their code is in their own namespace, which is always great. Uh, and here we're going to be using delegates again. Um, so at the top of the script, let's add uh, our voxel busters. Uh, and that's going to be uh, native plugins. So we know which pack it's in. Uh, it's going to be for the UI and it's going to be an alert dialogue completion. And then we're going to call this uh, just button completion. We're going to see how quick this is to implement. So that's alert dialogue completion. So now uh, the button completion needs a method to call uh, when the event is raised. So next uh, we need to create a method that'll be called. So let's go ahead and make a public uh, void uh, just button pressed. Sounds good. Uh, and let's have it bring in a string, sting, string, uh, and then let's just call this a string value. So a string value is brought in as a parameter. And then let's just again debug it. So debug.log. And what are we going to debug.log? What are we going to log? Um, just say button. Oh, pressed. And then let's add the, oops, with a plus please, the value. So very simple script again at the start. So uh, we're going to just say, we're going to give it a value and then we'll just press the, press the button and say it's been done. Um, but we're dealing with delegates here. So we should add our method in on enable and remove it in on disable uh, is probably the best way that we should be doing this. So let's uh, say at the top of the script, let's have void on enable. And then we want to also have a void on disable. And in on enable, we want to say our button completion. We want to plus equals or add our button pressed. And then in our on disable, we want to say button completion minus equals. We just remove our button pressed. So in start, after we've done our on enable and on disable, um, 
let's go say and start. Have a void start. We need to bind the information we want uh, for our dialog. And so we're going to say MP binding UI show alert dialog. Let's just do this with a single button because that's the example that we have set up. Uh, and then we want to set up that single button with some very basic information. So um, what we want to send is uh, the first one is our button name. We'll just call it button name, just to be clear what we're sending. Uh, you'd put in whatever your button name is at that point. Uh, when we can say, what do we have? Do you want to play a game? And then our only option, because this is one, it's a one button, we only have one choice here. You know, it could just be, most likely it'd just be an alert dialog box and you'd just say, continue, I understand, whatever. But let's just say, yes, I want to play a game. And then finally our button completion. So let's save that. Okay, let's come back to Unity. So what we need to do is go ahead and uh, set up dialog shower onto a game object. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it onto our main camera at this point. You probably want to have a game object that specifically manages this. Um, so, or maybe we could have put it on our game manager UI, but I've just thrown it onto the main camera because you know, it's a, it's a mono behavior. It needs to be in the scene to work. So let's go ahead and save. Let's enter play mode. And you can see button name, do you want to play a game? And so this is emulating inside Unity, uh, the uh, operating systems um, alert box. And then we simply say yes, and we can go ahead and start our game. So that does, that's our emulation. And had that been deployed on the mobile device, it would be giving us an operating system dialog box.